In a time of divine intervention, Joan of Arc emerged as a beacon of hope. At the age of 17, Joan claimed to hear divine voices urging her to fight for her country. With unwavering determination, she pleaded with the prince to allow her to join the battlefield, a request that was both unusual and audacious. Joan's journey led her to Orléans, where she rallied troops and fearlessly engaged in battle. She craved the heart of the fray. And even after taking an arrow to the neck and a crossbow bolt to the leg, she remained undeterred. Joan soon found herself working alongside the commander, scaling siege ladders in the Loire Valley. This extraordinary sight left the English forces baffled, unable to comprehend how a young, untrained girl could conquer the battlefield. They were convinced she was possessed by the devil. On the other hand, Joan was quickly becoming a French icon. Her courage and determination inspired her fellow countrymen, but she was far from immortal. Eventually, Joan was captured and found guilty of charges that included witchcraft and the crime of dressing like a man.